Hi, I'm Michael Barr, a professor here at the University of Michigan Law School. Last week I asked you to send in your questions about the financial reform law that passed last year. Many of you did. I really want to thank you for sending in your questions. And today we can answer some of those. The first question we have is from Mike. Mike asks, without strong enforcement, rulemaking that actually protects consumers, and a decent budget, how does this paper tiger change anything? I think that's a terrific question. And it's one of the reasons why people have to keep fighting for financial reform. We need to have strong enforcement, we need to have a strong budget, and we need strong rulemaking. That's one of the reasons why we all need to work together to continue to fight for financial reform. Right now, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has a good budget. It has strong rulemaking capacity. It has the ability to enforce the law. We need to make sure that the Congress doesn't interfere with that that they don't try and cut the budget or interfere with the strong authorities of the new Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. It's a bureau that can really look out for consumers. It's a bureau that can make sure that there's a level playing field for competition for banks and non-banks alike. Can make sure that the financial sector competes based on real price and real quality, not tricks and traps. But it means that consumers around the country have to stick up for the bureau when it's in trouble. The second question is from Charles. Charles wants to know, how will this financial reform affect my mortgage? Well, there are a number of changes put in place in the financial reform law to clean up the bad practices in the past. There's going to be new clarity about mortgage disclosure. So instead of a pile of mortgage forms when you try and get a mortgage, you will have one simple clear disclosure of what the costs of the mortgage are going to be going forward. And some of the bad practices like paying brokers to get people into worse loans, those are now banned. We have new rules on escrow to make sure that people understand the money they're putting aside for taxes and insurance. And there are new rules preventing the kinds of abuses that we saw in the lead up to the financial crisis. The third question is from a YouTube viewer, also related to mortgages. The viewer asks, since much of the country is underwater, much of which was caused by excess use of plastic cards, which resulted in having to refinance properties, how will the new law help rewrite the mortgage industry? Well, this is another terrific point. The law cleans up practices going forward so that consumers can actually understand the kinds of mortgages that they've been offered. They won't take out excessively risky mortgages that really did help bring down the economy. We're going to clean up the kind of bad practices that mortgage brokers use to entice people into these mortgages. And we have real regulation of the financial system so that it's safer and sounder uh, going forward. The new laws also help clean up bad practices in the credit card industry. They prevent, for example, credit card companies from moving around the due date every month or from putting charges on your account that don't make any sense. And going forward, they let you have the tools you need to make better financial choices with use of your credit cards. So that, for example, you know what happens. You know the financial consequences of only making the minimum payment. And you know what it would take if you wanted to pay off your credit card in a shorter period of time. These are important reforms that, together with changes in the Dodd-Frank Act, will help to clean up practices throughout our financial sector that got so many households and our country into such deep trouble in the financial crisis. Now, there are still plenty of problems in the housing system from the past, and we're a long way from fixing those. There's economic trouble throughout the country still with high unemployment and with house prices uh, still not where they need to be going. So there's a ton of work we need to do together, but this new law is an important reform. It cleans up practices going forward, and I think it builds a strong foundation for future economic growth. Thanks again for your questions. You can look forward to a new Ask M coming up in the near future.